Okay, so I've figured out what's missing. So come to the project, then project settings. Then here um, we need to select uh, the collision bodies that we want to, to listen to. So in, let's say, for example, if the star comes across the player, in this case, we'll tick this um, happening. So if me ticking the, the, this box means that if the star and the player group collide, this is a collision map. If the star and the player collide, then uh, we'll pick it up. So this was the thing that was missing. Without it, then it's not going to listen for the event. So we'll save and then um, continue. So I'll click my play and then um, we'll do that. So this time, okay, notice that we are able to see that the, the star and the player, okay, and when they do collide, I'll clear this and then just show us that they are able to it's going to come every time it comes into contact with them so that's what needs to happen then next up um, since this let's see the last thing is getting is the star the first thing is the player okay the first thing is the player so we need to get To get this, all right, I'll copy that. So if the other collider is, is a star, if other collider dot name is equal to the star. If other collider is equal to the star with the circle collider like that, then we will then destroy the star. We'll destroy the star, right? I hope this logic um, makes sense. Um, this dot node dot destroy. Okay, this dot node dot destroy because we are in the star's source code, so the star will have to destroy itself if it comes across um, this guy. So play that, and then this time around, the star disappears when it comes into contact with that. All right, so. Hopefully that makes sense, guys. Let me try that one more time. Okay. Disappears, disappears. Okay. That's, that's good. That's fine. Then we can proceed to the next one. Um, if you've got any questions about how uh, the collision uh, manager works, uh, feel free to post them in the comments area. Um, We'll be ending in the, uh, this section on this note. Feel free to subscribe, like my content, uh, check the descriptions if you're going to be interested for the Cocos Creator uh, 2D Game Development Essentials plus other courses that I'm creating for Cocos Creator, showing how to create different types of games, or if you just want to find a, uh, a really good foundation on uh, creating games with Cocos Creator. Okay, thank you for your support, guys. Like and subscribe.